Hi everyone, this is Ingrid Pool, team leader with the Pool team, and this is your introduction to what is a home inspection. So, as a buyer, when you are purchasing a home, it's always recommended to get a home inspection of a property. A home inspection typically runs around the $350 range and up, depending on the size of the home, and what sort of add-on features you're getting in the home inspection, such as maybe a pool inspection, septic or well inspection, dock inspection, um, crawl space investigation. Age of home is also an influencing factor on um, the cost of a home inspection. So keep that in mind. In newer homes, home inspection is probably going to be a little bit less costly than something that was built in 1925. So a home inspection is a limited, non-invasive examination of the condition of a home. They are conducted by licensed home inspectors, and we can certainly give you a list of those if you are unable to find your own. However, we always recommend asking friends and family or even going on to websites such as Angie's List or Nextdoor to see um, local referrals if you are so inclined. And the purpose of a home inspection, this is very important, it's for the buyer to be as aware as, as, aware as possible of the condition of the home before you purchase it. So it does not mean that, you know, the seller is paying for this in any way. This is only for the buyer to have a good idea of the home and if it is something that they want to continue with. Usually built into our contracts, we tend to have about 10 to 15 days to perform a home inspection and we help you get that all scheduled, all right? So when you, following the home inspection, which we always, of course, recommend that you're there, however, if you can't, or maybe um, you've attended it and you're just overwhelmed with all the information, you are going to be getting a home inspection report from the inspector, usually within 24 to 48 hours after the actual event. So a home inspection report is going to detail out um, these property key findings and property information. So your key findings are going to say, um, that there are some attention items um, or what we call action items or items that you might need to address in the future. In the future, again, is not necessarily tomorrow. It could be um, five years down the line, a year down the line, whatever the case may be. So um, those kind of help you prioritize the uh, how quickly you know some items might need to be taken care of. So for example, um, something immediate could be an electrical issue. So if an electrical issue is something that you want to have addressed um, pretty immediately, that would be an action item. Whereas a considera consideration item may be um, the age of the roof. Maybe you've got an estimated 10 years left on the roof. So just 10 years down the line, if you choose to purchase this home, consider getting a roof replacement. All right. Next is what is included in the inspection report. So you're going to have, in addition to those items already discussed, um, details as far as what's happening within the home, such as um, any components, maybe such as where the sprinkler system is located, like the garage or the electrical panel, water shut off, um, recommended tips on how to maintain the home, such as cleaning out the gutters, um, making sure there's no plants um, attaching themselves to the side of the house, things like that. And within the inspection report, again, you have those action items detailed out, consideration items, as well as if there are any necessary repairs that the home inspector strongly recommends that you get taken care of. Um, and speaking of repairs, so if they are needed following an inspection, there are a couple of different ways to tackle that. Your agent and you can work together to either request the seller make the repairs or on your own time following closing, never before you own the home, of course, but um, you can just, actually have contractors come out and give you quotes for doing the work and then um, depending on the price of the home that might be something you want to consider. So if you have any questions of course reach out to your agent directly um, if you are currently in a transaction with one of our team members or feel free to reach out to us at any time by giving us a call or shooting us a text message at 813-602-1887. Again this is Ingrid, team leader with the pool team. Always happy to help answer any questions you might have. Have a great day!